Hello, and welcome to another episode of Graves in Australia, Diecast Salvage. Today, we don't have any strippers. Dear, oh dear. Today, you won't see any nakedness either. And it's not because of COVID. Anyway, so what we have today is, don't worry about that trailer, is we're doing an unboxing from my mate Antonio um, of some of the items I've purchased over the past few months. So, see you over the workbench. I've just taken the liberty of um, unpacking all the vehicles to, so this video won't be too long. First up, we have four Majorette VW Combis. Um, two ambulances in various state and take note two different colors of white two different color interiors and then we have two um, panel vans my friend Laszlo from Laszlo's Restoration just recently did one of these put it into a Pepsi I'll leave a link to his channel in my description and the thing that I noticed with these majorettes, especially on these panel vans, the um, belt line is missing from the from these combis, from the panel vans at any rate, from the ambulance that they there. So we may do something about that. Next, we have two Matchbox Mercedes Benz. Um, both, mi both missing the windshields and both missing the their um, convertible roofs. These are both super fast versions. Um, yeah, we'll do something with those. Next we have uh, Matchbox Super Fast. Um, steak truck, the usual thing, usually the, the, they're broken. We've only got one broken by the looks of things. I'm not 100% sure whether the two slats on the back are broken, but definitely one, one here is broken. And this is one of the later super fast, because it's got the fat wheels on it. Here we have the regular wheels. Matchbox VP Tanker. It's in fit, you know, for, oh, just noticed that it's got a broken tyre on the back. So we'll have to do something with that as well as painting it or whatever. So that's all right. Next up is a Matchbox Ambulance. Missing one door completely, the other rear door is completely missing. Glass is in fairly good condition. Now here we have something that's a little bit different. Smiley face, she's happy. And it's a corgi. If I can get it into into focus. Yeah. It says Corgi on the bottom of it. Alright. Uh, okay. There we go. I didn't even realise that. We have another Matchbox Ambulance. There's the first one. There's the second one. And missing doors. There we go. Um, okay. Next we have a uh, Corgi Juniors um, ERF fire engine. Wheels are uh, the roller missing the ladder. Paint's in good condition, except for just on the on the back. Otherwise, um, not too bad. We have another Corgi Whiz wheels. Um, I'm assuming it's a horse float. 
missing the, the rear ramp and horses or animals if it had any. Ah, now I'm at home. Because now we have a, a matchbox king size dump truck. It's all there. Oops. Sorry about this. Doing it all one handed. Move the camera. That'll be better. There we go. It is all there. Um, and well loved because somebody liked to paint it. Paint it. So, I did have other plans for, for this one, but um, we'll see what happens with it. All right, just move some of these out of the way. So, next we have a Matchbox Police Launch. Don't know what to do with that one yet, but you never know, we might go in the high seas with it. Next up is a, another Matchbox, it's a super fast, another refu refuge truck. Wheels are, are bent, I dare say it's missing the rear end, glass is in okay, that could be a spares vehicle, parts. Um, we have another Matchbox uh, Super Kings, um, the K55 Corvette um, Caper Cart. Doors open on it. The screen's um, got a few scratches in it. We may be able to do something with it. It's got the tow hook, stickers. Yeah, yeah. stickers are stickers. Uh, now, we're coming to a few others. Here we have an Ertal Oldsmobile. Made in China. It's a nice little car. Right, just to compare it, there's, there's the matchbox ambulance. So that's a, so it's a matchbox size. It's in fairly good condition. Uh, here we have a Dinky Toys Riley Pathfinder. It's not an ex-police car because there's no holes up the top. Or anything like that. Original colour, I think, was looks like it was a blue colour. But um, don't have to do much stripping on it because the paint's just about all gone on it. This may be a vehicle um, that I'll put into the mix for the any British car um, build with the diecast and modelers community. Um, build. So if you want to join join us in that, that would be great. Um, what was that? Okay, models of yesteryear. Um, have no idea what what vehicle it is, but it's um, it's very nice. I think I've got one one of these already. I'll have to um, check. Everything's there. The glass is there. Well, I shouldn't say glass. The Top is there, the seats are in it. Has a, has some minor paint chips, but um, otherwise not too bad. Again, a model of yesteryear. This one's in quite reasonable condition. The lights are all there. This part here the isn't isn't broken. All the seats are in. The load is in. So. Mm. That might just go in, into it as a diorama. Now, next we have a Corgi Greyhound Coach. It's a shame it didn't come um, 
a few episodes ago because I would have done it with the Greyhound Scenic Cruisers. What I'll be doing with this one, this one's definitely going to be stripped. And I'll have a look at Bus Grease Monkey channel um, to see what the MCI buses actually look like. From, from memory, all this bottom half is silver or aluminium and only the top part from where you see the grey hat where the grey hat sticker is there up the top is painted um, but i will check on that that will be a, a build either you know much later in the much later this year or early next year depending on um, on how things go now this is comes with a box which is nice it's a rambler station wagon from lone star suspension well love quite a few paint chips on it windscreen can do with a bit of a cleanup but um Otherwise, not in bad condition. The best thing is, it comes with the box. So, that one will be a Aristo back to original. Another one is a Corgi Toys. Uh, what's that? Bedford tractor unit. And. Well, it's part major pack, and it's the mo mobile gas tractor and trailer. Glass is in good condition. All the all the tyres are there. They're not flat. All rollers. Uh, that's that's box number one. Box number two is more a scrapyard or spare parts box. But some of the some of the items in here um, can be resurrected. Like for instance this Lesney bus. The route master been heavily painted. But the wheel, wheels are missing on it. But we can we can source some wheels for it. Um, and a bit of corrosion on it. Um, we can do something with it. I'm sure. This, this bit, all these vehicles that you're seeing now, that all these spares. Um, I think it was 50p or one, one pound from that I purchased from Antonio. So a lot of them are just for spares. Some of them to do something else with. I'm not afraid of making a glass. Maybe put a different back on it. That's a... What have we got here? I can't read it. There we go. Nope. Oh. Maybe somebody in the in the um, in the comments can make make it out. It's made in made in England. It's a Top Boy, a Lone Star. There we go, Lone Star Top Boy. Um, here we have a Matchbox crane truck, the king size. As you can see, all all the rubbers are missing from the tyres. The, um, the black part from here is, it, is there, just folded up inside, and it's missing the hook. So that's, that's another one that can be resurrected. Um, next we have a couple of um, models of yesteryear from... Matchbox. Okay, lots of parts missing, like the seats, wheels, um, 
But it's still they still do have the grills. This one's missing a light. Um, something can still be done with them. But not today. And next we have a Corgi Mercedes Benz 240D. Now that's going to be a challenge. Uh, looks like it's, it's been stomped on. It's missing the front. I do have another one of these. Um, so that um, I can make the, the front grill for this. Um, if I can straighten the rest of it out. It does have the opening. Ooh. <laughs> there you go. When you open up and boot for the first time. All right. Don't know what's in there. Don't want to know. Glass is missing from it as well. But... I'm not adverse to make, making my own screens. Now this poor guy lost his head. Maybe that, maybe that's um, yeah, so sign of the times. The matchbox looks like it's a troop carrier or something. Um, yeah, needs a lot of work. That's all right. We can we can deal with that. Um, not a matchbox. Um, it's missing the rear hatch. Glass is broken on it. I don't have another one at this stage, but it might do a spares for later on. Next is a Corgi Toys Gear uh, L6.4. Like Mercedes, it's a bit bent. It's missing all its roof, missing the glass. Um, missing the rear bumper. And the front and the front one's not much chop either. But again, uh, doors the, the two doors can be used for, for parts, the interior can still be used for parts. Uh, if the engine comes out, that can be used for parts. The base can, once it's been straightened out, can be used for parts. So there's always something that you can you can do with it. Um, this one is a well, I can tell you it's a Plymouth. Um, it doesn't say uh, what brand it is, but I'm assuming it will be a Mattel. You know, it's all when, you know, like they do the Cars series. Um, I think so somebody got a bit, bit hungry on, on the back of that. But again, this is something that can be turned into something else. You know, so we take the back wing off, um, put a nice set of tyres on it, and... Um, we can turn. We can always turn it into something else. All right. Next is a corgi jeep. It's missing the missing the bar from the front screen. The front bumper's broken. Um, it looks a bit cross-eyed to me. Missing, of course, the wheels. But again, yes, yeah, so all new, new wheels put in. Uh, make another frame for for a screen. And um, fix up the steering wheel, which is completely uh, cabbywonkers, so to speak. Um, again, something can be done with it. Next we have is a Shuko. Um, I believe it's a Porsche. Missing wheels. Otherwise, it's it's in, not in bad nick. So I'll have to look for some wheels for that one. Ah, uh, what, what else we got? Uh, 
Okay, well, I'm assuming that I think that what that's either a husky or a majorette Citroen DS ambulance. Now, that's all there is, just the top shell. So, if somebody wants the the top shell, send me a send me a message, and I'll I'll send it to you. But that's all. That's all there is. There's no base, no glass. But again, something 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 can be done with done with it. Um, just to let you know. It looks like it's got a bit of corrosion just on this back section here. Um, but um, you know, all the pillars are there. The the casting is straight, but uh, it's mi missing its bottom half. Okay, again we have a, you know, like I said, the, 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 this was a scrap purchase, and here we have the DAF um, car carrier. I never had one in, in this colour, I've had the orange orange and yellow one, but I've never had this colour one, and this is a regular, what, the regular wheels. Um, it has the bottom half of the pistons, but it's missing its top deck has to rear ramp um, the front needs a new class but I can make those I've got the molding I've got the, I've already got a molding to make the glass because I've re, I've already redone one of these um, one of the uh, orange and yellow ones and I had to make a new class for it I've re, so I've already got a mold for that but again this can be turned into something else. Yeah, so we just you know we can cut cut this down um, right, just to to straighten it all out. So there are all, all different things we can do with it. Right, okay. So that's all from my friend Antonio. I hope you enjoyed this little video. We'll catch you later. Bye for now. Gotcha. I forgot one. And that's the uh, Matchbox King Size Wreck Truck. Now, the, other, the reason why I bought those spares was basically for this particular truck. Because it has what's missing from this, from this one. It has, well, it has most of... <coughs> excuse me. This one is missing the, the front grille. This one has one, so that's a, that's a plus. This has the the two um, parts for to add the hooks, where this one doesn't. Um, so I just need the need the source to hooks. So that's a big bonus of having that one. So, all right. Thanks again for for watching. Enjoy your evening, morning, afternoon. Whatever. All right. Enjoy yourselves. We'll catch you soon. Bye for now.